Who had the better overall career? The Rock or HBK? First category, who was better on the mic? HBK was no slouch on the stick. The man could deliver great promos, whether he was with DX as the GM or later on in his career. The man could get the audience off their feet. The Rock is arguably the greatest to ever work a microphone. He's got more catchphrases than the entire roster does today. This category goes to the Brahma Bowl. The score is one to nothing for The Rock. Next, who had the best one match? The Rock's greatest matches are likely against Hogan at WrestleMania 18 and The Rock's match against Stone Cold at WrestleMania 17. Both were gripping and the crowds were deafening. Shout out to the crowd in Toronto and Houston. HBK has so many near nearly five star matches. Let's start with his work against Kurt Angle at WrestleMania or Ric Flair, his Iron Man match versus Bret, his Hell in a Cell versus Undertaker, and of course his epic WrestleMania matches versus Taker. This list is so long, I'm giving this category to Mr. WrestleMania. The score is one to one. Next category, who is the better technical wrestler? HBK could lace up the boots and go at it. He was able to work fast, do aerial maneuvers, and could work technically well when he had to. The Rock was more limited in his moveset. It was highly effective, but overall HBK was the better technical wrestler. One point for Sean. The score is two to one for HBK. Next category, who won more world championships? HBK is a three-time WWF champion and a one-time World Heavyweight Champion, giving him four World Championships total. The Rock is an eight-time WWE Champion and a two-time WCW Champion, making him a ten-time Champion. This category goes to the Great One, and he gets two points since many people consider championships the most important category. The score is three to two for the Pie Eaten, Eyebrow Raisin. Next, who is better at storytelling and adapting? HBK and The Rock were amazing storytellers, but I think HBK was a bit better at telling storylines inside the ring, whereas Rock may have built a better feud outside of the squared circle. It's close. HBK was fantastic at adapting to tag, singles, being in a faction. He was able to adapt and change to different eras and storylines seamlessly. The Rock's role in the Nation of Domination was so memorable, eventually becoming the corporate champion, then becoming a face, transitioning to Hollywood Rock. This is close, but I think HBK was a tad better at storytelling and adapting through his long career. One point for HBK. The score is 3-3. Three to three. Sixth category, who had more charisma? Both HBK and The Rock had that it factor. They had that presence. The fans were drawn to both of them. But there's a reason The Rock would get Rocky, Rocky chants echoing throughout arenas for minutes, whether he was backstage, in the ring, or even just a live video from Hollywood. The Rock gets this category and the score is 4-3 to three for The Rock. Next, who had more longevity and impact. HBK's career lasted roughly 18 years, but it was cut short due to injuries. The Rock's career was much shorter, roughly 10 years due to his move to Hollywood. The Rock likely goes down as the maybe the most entertaining wrestler of all time, mostly on the mic, but most definitely in the ring as well. The man also main evented five WrestleManias. HBK likely goes down as the best in-ring entertainer and performer we've ever seen. There's a reason he's called Mr. WrestleMania. He also main evented five WrestleManias. This is too close to call. One point for each, and the score is five to four for The Rock. Last category, who is the bigger draw? There's no doubt HBK was a draw, and DX especially did huge merchandise numbers. But to this day, The Rock is still in the top 10 merchandise sales for his Brahma Bull belt and t-shirt. The Rock vs. Cena had the most pay-per-view buys of all time for WrestleMania 28. The Rock wins this category, the score is 6-4, and The Rock had the better overall career. Thanks for watching, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know down below if you disagree or agree with me. Until next time, wrestling fans.